Cloudera Data Catalog focuses on the business analyst user who needs to find curated data assets and start analyzing them for quicker decision making. The product leverages all the metadata that is collected in Atlas and provides a unified view of the different SDX configurations. Cloudera Data Catalog is now available for private cloud customers on the Kubernetes platform called Data Services. With that said, we can dive right into the Data Catalog interface. What you're seeing is a data catalog running on a private cloud instance. Within the data catalog, we have one data lake that's connected. There will be a new home page that will be added in the future. The home page aligns with a lot of other data service interfaces where we have helpful links that you can use for additional resources and guides. There are some action cards where you can go to search for certain assets, manage data sets, or review the profilers. The main screen is designed for a business analyst who comes in and wants to start working with the data sets immediately. Their self-created data sets will appear here on the home page. There's some additional information here to give you high-level context, such as how many data lakes are connected and number of assets. We have active profilers here for each data lake, a quick review of what kind of profilers we support, how many assets have been profiled, and the last run. Additionally, there is a list of data lake connections. Let's look at the search interface. You can do a full text search, for example. I can just look for US customers and the search results would come back with all the different assets that have a string called customers in them. You can use filters to search for specific data sources. I just wanna focus on a specific hive table with the name US customers. There is other relevant information about this asset, such as the qualified name, the owner source, and when it was created. When you drill down into this asset, you get what we call a 360 degree view. This gives you not just the technical metadata, but also the business metadata containing comments or descriptions that have been added or tagged. Some specific use cases may require multiple data sets. So let's look at the data set functionality. This interface will show you any and all data sets that have been created by our colleagues. Again, there's a search interface for any names that are used for the data set. I'll search for customers and I find two datasets that have been created. I can look at who authored these datasets, in which data lake they exist, and how many assets there are. I pick the customer's dataset and see that there are three hive tables from this particular dataset. You can also get to the 360 degree view right from here. There's some additional information that you will see as you look through this 360 degree view. Here's the schema. Since a profiler has already been run, you will see there is a lot of context such as unique values per row, null values, or standard distribution for integer-based rows. I'll drill down on the gender column to look at the distribution. You can do similar things to look at the distribution of different values there. With the data catalog interface, I don't need to open the Ranger interface to look at resource-based policies. The application collects from Ranger and is displayed here for both resource and tag-based policies. Some of the other data points we have are access audits. Now, as a business user, I may want to see who accesses this data on this table on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, so on. The data catalog populates this information from Ranger to give a business analyst an idea of how frequently a specific asset is being used. Having quick information about who has been granted or denied access to a given resource will allow a business analyst to make informed decisions before allocating time to work on it. Let's go back onto the home page and you will see some of the other things that are possible through the data catalog interface. From the profilers tab, you can review earlier runs of the profilers, configure them to run on a particular schedule, and view the tag rules to help identify patterns.